It's Jeff and Wilmer at Budroom. Today we're doing a preemptive swarm control video. This hive is really strong, and I'm going to do a swarm control. And the idea, the term preemptive, means that I'm doing a swarm control before they prepare to swarm, and then that'll slow them right down in the coming weeks. So you can see here the lid that we use has got a recess in the lid and I have a mat on top of the frames and you can see the mat here was just chopper block full of bees and that's a good indication to me that the hive has got a, a good population and it's time to do some swarm control and in doing so we're going to make another hive and this is my perfect pocket hive tool now this box is nearly full of honey I've taken out four frames of honey, about a three quarters cat, and it's still pretty heavy. So let's have a look. We've got a few beetles, so we just squash them as we go. I've done a preemptive swarm control in this not long ago. I forgot that I did it, and it's still loaded with bees. Look at that frame there. It is just almost chock-a-block with sealed brood. I'm going to take that one. And just small pockets of drone. Uh, yeah, little pocket of drone down the bottom on that corner there. So what I'm going to do is look to see if I can see the queen. I've got a new pair of glasses. It's not really helping me. It's getting a bit late in the afternoon. Now, we're doing another video at the same time. Now, this video is putting nine frames in a 10 frame box in the brood. So you have about a three mil gap between each frame. And what happens is the bees put propolis around the end of the frame. I put propolis around there. So that when you remove the frame, it leaves an imprint. So you know where to put the frame when you go back. Now, this is one of the frames I put in not long ago when I did my preemptive swarm control. I don't remember doing this one. Look how many bees are in there. So what I'll do is I'll take three frames out of this one. So you've got there, this one here, a lot of sealed brood. So because I did that preemptive swarm control, whenever I did it, they're not preparing to swarm. They probably would have been gone by now anyway. They, they could have been gone by now if we didn't do that. Exactly. Now there's the queen. You can get a close-up of her. She's a beauty, isn't she? Through the screen. She's only a young one. Where is she? Oh, there. Yeah, just there. Um, you got my finger? We have an empty queen cell here. And I just want to make sure there's no eggs in there. Looks like no? two. No, oh no, no egg in there. So I'm going to isolate this frame with the queen so I know where she is. So I've got one frame over there I'm going to take. And I'll take this one. You do all your movements nice and slow. If you look at that frame, there's a lot of pollen. There's a lot of grub too. Yeah. Big, big grub. Yeah. So There's a lot of pollen on that side as well. Now this other one over here on the far side, I'm going to take it out. Oh, there's a beautiful breed on that one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm. Bees and brood. See, a little pocket of drone comb down the bottom corner here. See, a little pocket and of drone. Yeah, a bit up the top there. That's all the drone comb you want. You don't want too much drone comb. Uh, anyway, I'll take this out as those, well as those other two frames. And I'll take the bees as well. Uh, put that one over there. And I'll put this one there. I'll put the frame with the queen next to there. Frame of foundation there. This frame across to there. By using fresh foundation, you're going to build up, get a good amount of worker population. Yeah. You're still going to get a good, yeah. 
you know, with with wax foundation, they're going to cut holes in the corners, you know, which means they'll repla repair them with drone comb. So you, you're still going to get a fair percentage of drone comb in your hive. So just give that a puff of smoke, clear those bees off there. I love full depth honey supers because I can transfer the frames from the brood to the honey and vice versa whenever I like. The only thing I don't do is I don't lift a full depth super with nine or ten frames of honey in it. A full depth super with only six frames, chock a block, you lift it, it's equal to lifting a full box of ideals. That's my theory. Yeah. I know this hive here is very strong, but they've got a bit of attitude as well. So we'll see how we go with this one. Look at that. Oh boy. Look how strong it is. Look at it. Have a look at that lid. Yeah, it needs weakening out. It needs, it? That needs weakening out for sure. So that's, look how strong it is, and there's no beetle around. No beetle on this one. No, we'll see how they're coming out with everything, woman. Right. They're cranky, they're coming through everything. We determined this hive here is really strong and it definitely needs to be weakened out but it's got real a real attitude problem. I didn't want to get into the brood because I don't want to get stung this time of the day. Most of those frames were chock a block full of honey, but there was two frames on the end that were, were stickies only about two days ago. And they were covered in bees and this lid here was covered in bees. I wanted to get a lot of these bees into that nuke that I'm making up to weaken out this hive. So I put this sticky on there. The bees were just marching towards it. They've all clustered under that. I'm going to add this. This is my third frame out of that hive for that nuke. I'll explain what I've done. Now this is going to go home and hopefully those cranky bees won't be a, a pest at home. I've got a strange box, a strange lid. I've got three frames out of each hive. And what I've done is I've staggered them. So that's uh, one frame out of hive A, a frame out of hive B, A, B, A, B, like that. Now what I'm gonna do is put the lid on. I'm gonna tape it up. I'm gonna put some tape around that lid to take it home. And I've got an entrance closer. I'm going to close up the entrance. And we're going to take it home. And home is far enough away, probably about an eight minute drive, but it's far enough away that the bees won't come back to their old hive. They're just stickies that's had all the honey eaten off them. I'm going to replace those frames with these. You can just see that these bees have got attitude. Yes, they have, definitely. So if you can't weaken them out from the bottom, you can weaken them out from the top. <laughs> Get on without killing too many bees. Oh, well, we might as well close now. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.